Yes, lots of family members, very big into music. Um, I myself am a bit of a drummer and used to play the bugle and other stuff in the old days. A little touch of the saxophone at one point, but nothing to speak about. Uh, pan is a big part of our culture. You watch it ripping through from body to rhythm. Recommend it to all. It's on my bucket list. One day I'll get there. Question is whether I go down by Darren Shepard or by Junior Regrelu. Kind of torn. Maybe Antilles might see me up the road, you never know. So, definitely on the agenda. One day, hope to be able to be coordinated into a pan side and to play in a panorama and jump with the band. Right, good, good. Mom? Mom, mom's everything San Fernando. As you know, she is famous for being on her slippers on the coffee, on Cipero, chipping away behind a pan side, built into the music. Right. So, obviously, sheep don't make good, never far from the pan. Favorite pan song. Today's modern pan song is not the same as what pan songs used to be. So we are gone from the days of Kitchener writing pan music specifically for pan, and we've lost some of that art. I think today Skiffle Bunch right here did Hello Really Well by Kess. Mm -hmm. And if you saw that performance, which took us to big stage and to doing really well, I think Kess's Hello was perhaps best done by Cal Skiffle Bunch. And that would rank as my number one song for now. Back in the day, specifically written for Pan, that's a different story. A lot of the young people wouldn't even know what that looks like. But I'd, I'd, I'd leave it there at that. So, folks, welcome to San Fernando West. Welcome to Skiffle Bunch. Welcome to our home of San Fernando. We are being hosted by the mayor, the office of the MP of San Fernando, which is my office and the mayor's office, we've put together to do a hamper distribution to the Pan Fraternity this afternoon. We're really thrilled to do this because there are a number of people who are in jeopardy and the coordination of the Pan Fraternity has been phenomenal. We have some of our iconic bands in San Fernando West, San Fernando East and different parts of Trinidad here with us. So we're pleased to bring some relief to our brothers and sisters. Part of the mission this evening is encouraging on vaccinations to ensure that the PAN fraternity begins to vaccinate and operate with an ambition of having better days ahead of us. PAN is very close to my heart. Can't say I've had the talent of being able to play it, but I've been involved since I was a child, following PAN sides, coffee, Cipero Street, San Fernando is known for its positions. Very importantly, in my younger years, as a young lawyer and as an activist, I traveled with Skiffle Bunch in particular through Italy and different places, doing some translation, doing some coordination to take the Roaring Lion and Skiffle Bunch and other areas onto the international arena. I remember vividly Villa de, Borg de Borghese in Rome and what that reception was like when pan music filtered into the Italian city of Rome in the ways that it did. Those are far reaches. Today, it's about charity being at home, being with our Pan Fraternity as Member of Parliament for San Fernando West and thrilled to be able to lend a hand to brothers and sisters who are looking for coordinated attention. I'll end by saying, let's all vaccinate, let's fight COVID, let's get our country back into order, let's reclaim our society. You're welcome to San Fernando West, especially those of you who don't have the privilege of living here. Come and see how it's done right. Take care. And you didn't say anything else. Uh, very excited about this evening's uh, exercise because, as I said earlier on, charity begins at home. Now, when I was approached to support this exercise, I did it because it speak to, speaks to addressing the needs of pan, the, the pan institution, the pan fertility at this very critical and very challenging times. Uh, you just have to come out and say, well, feed me. And if you recognize there is need to assist, you, know, you reach out to them, be a brother's keeper. And I, and I must commend those responsible for this evening's exercise, because that's what I got out of it. We were able to come out and meet and assist. And on that basis, I contributed, and I've been very happy to be part of this exercise. It's much different you now. The world has changed, and sometimes you have to adapt to what's around you. And our days it was pure passion, love, community, uh, and, and, and represent, representation. 
Um, now it's basically a little different. Now people are, are, are more independent minded, they're more progressive in the thinking, they're more uh, concerned about what's in it for me, and you can't discount that. It's, it's a way of life. So it has, it has been dynamics has changed considerably from my era to what the, the present generation would exist now. But still, San Fernando remains a, 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 a force in terms of how we contribute, how we how we see San Fernando. And I'm very concerned about how we move forward as an entity. Um, uh, the bands are working very, very hard. I'm very encouraged by what I saw here this evening. And uh, we have to wait for this pandemic to get out of the air. As the, as the MP was saying earlier, the solution really is the vaccine. And once we adapt it and we take the vaccine, well, then the, that the solution to the problem where we may, may have very well have a carnival next year. I'm not saying we're going to have one, but the, the, the Delta variant outside it, threatening. But once we would overcome those things, I will, let, I will see us be reunited and re-energized. Uh, my early days, I started a band called Texaco West Stars in Vista Bella. And, and being a, 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 from a, a child growing up with grandparents, where there was a very strong family connection, my grandparents were involved with our Baptist church. I was I had a lot of free time, and um, I found the Panya, and the Panya became my family and my. And I'm still there. I remember living the Panya at one at age 14 or 15, and coming up St James Street, heading back to Vista Bella, and being picked up by the police, you know, because they didn't believe I was coming from the Panya. So they picked me up, and then I was investigated and interrogated, and took, I'm taken home, and my grandmother was chastised for allowing me to be out that early night, but. Joshua is at a different level. Um, Joshua started playing for about eight, six or seven. And Joshua is in love with the stage and performance. And he, he is in a different, going in a different direction. He understands the technology and, and the capability and using the instrument as a, as a tool to, to have a voice outside there. And I think we need voices like that. And I must commend him for the direction he's going. All right, good, beautiful. And if you see how they get... But what was so comical in the midst of carnival, rainfall, and washout pass in May. But tell them no bother with me. It's 
a different thing, 1963, because the road make to walk on Carnival Day. Constable, I don't want to talk, but I have to say, any steel band man only venture to break the span is a long funeral from the Royal Hospital. 